Hi, welcome to AmbleSmith.com. Today we're going to show you a targeting device or tool called BZO Buddy. And what this target does is you sight in at 100 for whatever range you want it to be on the paper at, whether it be two, three, or 400 yards. And what this will allow you to do is save money and ammunition and get you on the target at two or 300 yards to do your fine adjustment. It looks like this, and basically what we do is use a ballistic coefficient for a known uh, load and you take it out whether it's 5.56 in the M193 ball or 243 or any other caliber you want. I'm going to introduce you to the inventor, William Ames. Sir? Thank you. So with BZO Buddy, this allows you to go to a 100 yard range, sight your rifle in at the lower portion of the 100 yards, and then click up your scope with your elevation to attain 200, 300, or 400 yards for your hunting needs or your shooting needs. Um, this is just to get you on paper. Once you get out to these ranges, you can fine tune your adjustments from there. At a range, recently, I took this target. This is basically the application. I would recommend putting one target up to kind of find out where you're at. And then once you find out where you're at, these were my rounds. These are my first grouping here at 100 yards. I clicked up, hit 200 yards exactly. Clicked up again, had a little flyer here and hit 300 yards exactly. And now we're here out at our 300 yard physical range to verify the 300 yard shots. Thank you. All right, at 300, we have a silhouette cut out and we have a shoot and see target on there. We already did the math at, uh, in the sighting in at 100. We're gonna see how it does at 300. Send it again. You're center mass. You're absolutely center mass, just right Dude, above the target. I, I just bullseyed it. Yeah. Yeah. The math doesn't lie. The math does not lie. Let's take the camera down there and get a close-up on it. Yeah, yeah. And so we show everybody it is legit. Let me see if I can get a grouping on it. Go ahead and turn the camera on. Okay. Okay, here we are at 300. We're using the shoot and see. Um, the BZO buddy that we used was specific for the M193 ball. And we were using a Spikes Tactical Lower with the Timney trigger in it and an Aero Precision Upper with a 1 and 9 inch twist. Here's our first shot. We had a 5 to 8 mile an hour crosswind. Once the wind died down, we're all dead center. The BZO Buddy works. The math does not lie. Once you get your sights zeroed at 100 for whatever range you want, 2, 3, or 400, it'll get you on target. We did not lose a single shot in this process. This will save you money. With the ammunition costing the way it is now, I want to be on target and I want to get on there fast. And the BZO Buddy was, the way we had it set up, was I can calibrate and know that my scope's going to get me on the paper and all my fine tuning is just minor scope adjustment. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to attempt to sight this rifle in at 300 yards that was sighted in at 100 yards not using the BZO Buddy. As you saw down below, we got on target with the first shot. And I'm going to try to get on here with as few rounds as possible with my Mauser. It's a CZ model 600 and 7x57. It has a six power weaver. And we, the only thing we don't have is a BZO Buddy for it. So we're going to attempt to try to at least get on that target down there and see what happens. Okay. Now we shoot at 300. Um, since we're not using a BZO Buddy and since I have a six power scope on here, I need a spotter in order to do this. That's why we have the spotting scope. 
So at least with the BZO Buddy, if I know I'm going to be on there, I just need my scope and that's it. But since I don't, um, I'm going to use a spotter to get on target. <clears throat> you ready? Okay, everything's set. All right. First shot. Three feet low. <laughs> Three feet low. And where were we on the first shot with the AR? We were just six inches right in on target. Alright. Three feet low, alright. Um oh. That's shot one. Was I centered? Alright, the first shot was three feet low. I just did a bowl correction on the scope. Let's see. Because that the first when we took the first shot with the AR, we were on target. This one was through in the dirt. Two feet high right. Ugh. Two feet high right. What's the cost of each of those rounds? Uh, to buy them, they're about. These are seven by fifty sevens with one hundred seventy five gram round nose. Eh, you're talking probably about a buck each, maybe more. Okay. So. And then if we're talking about the ballistic tips, we'll be talking a lot more money, you know, from like the custom competition end, or at least, you know, for the premium um, hunting ammunition end of things. All right. Have we hit the target yet? No. Okay. Low right, uh, low eight inches, right three inches. Okay. So up one, two, three, four, five, and he's we're right? Right two inches. Right two inches, so right. And we're zero uh zero to two wind. Okay. Alright, that's uh one, two, three, four, five. That's five rounds. And we're still not even centered. All right, round number six. Center low, three inches. Center low, three inches. So we're, we're now we're on there. It took us six rounds to get on there. And a spotter. Yep. Because there's no way I'd be able to see that uh, with the recall on this, with this um, low magnification, all right. Just, just to prove a point, I'm going to shoot a ballistically sound ballistic tip down there to show you that its flight path is going to be a lot different than this 175. And that's why what makes BZO so nice, or BZO Buddy so nice, is we compensate for the round nose ballistic coefficient and the uh, high or low profile, low drag coefficients. All right, let's take this guy. All right, watch this 140 grain. It may go completely over the target. <laughs> Ready? Save it. I didn't, I didn't see it. You didn't see it? <laughs> no, nowhere. All right, let me send another one. I'm holding it. Dead centered. Same 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 hold I was holding for the 175. Let me uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Alright. Okay, send it. Alright, sending it. This is the ballistic tip versus the 175 gram round nose as far as trajectory. High right by two three uh, high by three, right by two. Inches or feet? Feet. Feet. Com 
completely off. Yeah, you hit the shovel. Oh, <laughs> crap. Okay, yeah. So that, again, the math doesn't lie. The ballistic coefficient for this is completely different than the ballistic coefficient for this. Okay, we're back down here at the 300. We tried to sight in with the seven millimeter Mauser, not using the BZO buddy. And like I said, it took us six rounds to get on target, but we're still not exactly sighted in. Here's our first round, hitting the dirt right here. Boom. Second round, went over the target somewhere. I don't see the impact over there. And then um, we had a bunch more. These are exploded out because the steel plates behind here. But we started actually hitting the target. But we're still not even close. The first one with the AR-15 was here and the rest of them were right here. We've been out here all day. We tried three different rifles and three different calibers. And it worked absolutely perfect each time. We took the seven millimeter. We tried, um, we sighted in a hundred, worked great. We went straight to 300. It took us six rounds to get it just on the piece of wood down there. And we still weren't even centered. And we also demonstrated that um, with this, you're going to save a lot of money. Though. With an AR-15 with surface ammunition, we were on with the first shot.